the idea behind Sijal uh, was to create an institute that provides intensive Arabic instruction at all levels and for students of all uh, ages and backgrounds, while at the same time creating this strong cultural awareness of the region so that students aren't just learning the language in isolation but are also learning it in its cultural, social, historical, political context. Sijal in Arabic means a debate in which two sides put forth equally compelling arguments and so the idea isn't just about kind of the, the outcome of the debate but rather the the, the level of the discourse, the level of the discussion. I think a student should really come to Sijad for a number of reasons. Uh, the first of all, I would say, is the academic rigor that we offer. Uh, a lot of students, for example, are used to very high standards in their learning. And so sometimes when students study abroad, they, they really feel a difference. I think at Sijal, one thing that we do very well uh, is we engage students on a number of levels. We teach in an integrated method. So students who enroll at Sijal will be studying both Fusha and Ammiya, so modern standard Arabic as well as the Jordanian colloquial dialect that's spoken here. And that is a really, really crucial part of the curriculum here at Sijal because any language that you, that you teach, you want to make sure that it reflects the reality that, uh, that is here on the ground. The learning experience at Sijal is definitely one of a kind. Uh, we provide our students with uh, classes that are fun, engaging, and uh, communicative. I noticed by the end of the semester that the student feel that he can share and he can communicate with other people easily and with more confidence because before they came to Sujal, they had uh, a lot of fears, I would say, to uh, make mistakes in front of other people, especially Arabs. But after the end of the semester, you absolutely can see the difference. They don't care about making mistakes anymore, but their mistakes are even less than they used to be. And that gives them a motivation to do more. I know that I can hold a basic conversation with someone now, which um, I could not do when I came in at all. And I think at Sijal, we not only learn Fusha and the dialect, but also words that we can use in everyday life, and the people around us, they will understand what, what we are saying. So we use the Al-Kitab textbook series uh, for our beginner and intermediate levels. Uh, but even with those, we supplement them you know, quite heavily with materials from outside so that students are, you know, while they're living in Jordan, going to be interacting with things from Jordanian media, interacting uh, with Jordanians outside of the classroom who are going to be up to date with sort of events that are happening here. There's no reason to, to study abroad and to make all the effort to go to a different country if you're just going to be in your room studying and in a classroom talking. You can do that in America. What we want to do at Sijal is make sure that you become a part of the community um, and are engaged on a number of different levels within that community. At other institutes, it's often about like the syllabus and the homework and like these strict deadlines. But at least with the private tutoring, it's not about that. It's about your learning and um, what you need to develop Arabic for your personal use. And so there's a, a big focus on guided independence, I think. So um, you have a lot of resources, but Sajal really helps you to go and explore Amman as your own person. Throughout the years, from a shop to a furniture design space. So the idea of the Brown Bike Lecture is to feature uh, speakers uh, that are doing uh, interesting things and uh, kind of embarking on interesting initiatives within the city and exposing them to our students during lunchtime, usually, so hence the term brown bag. You know, they, you know, they're already at Sijal and they can just write after class, attend the lecture. The content courses are meant to give students an opportunity for them to delve much more deeply into their personal interests. So within the cooking class, students are actively learning vocabulary and grammar and speaking in Arabic, all while they're learning the content itself. So in each class, they learn how to cook a different dish. You know, last week they made ma'lube, the week before that they made mulukhiya. I really highly recommend the calligraphy class for students who want to work on their artistic side, get you know much more skilled in how they write in Arabic, and it gives them the opportunity to practice um, in a sort of much more hands-on way. 
So we have a class on the Syrian crisis, for example, how the war came about, um, some of the events of the war itself. Uh, it, you know, asks students to get out, interview uh, people here in Jordan. For us, it was extremely important to have Sijal located in a neighborhood that it, uh, it would be culturally in interesting for our students. And so, uh, you know, where we are in Jabal Amman, you have cultural foundations, you have libraries, you have theaters, um, all within walking distance. And so if you're a student and you're in Amman for a short period of time, being in Jabal Amman and having easy pedestrian access to these places is, provides for a much richer experience. <laughs> and being at the end of Rainbow Street is a really lucky location. It's convenient for students who want to eat. You know, every restaurant under the sun is within a five, 10 minute walk. It's a really, you know, lively, exciting, um, interesting area to be in. So there's always life after Sujal. And one thing that we make sure to do within the curriculum is design it so that they are able to then integrate right back into their classes um, at their home institution. Uh, but then for students, for example, who like to, to stay here and live in Amman, we do a lot to, to set students up with internships, for example, uh, to help them find work, to help them find volunteer opportunities. We have a lot of previous Sajad students who are living and working in Amman now in a number of different fields, from humanitarian workers to journalists to um, NGO workers mostly. I feel like I'm gonna be like a Sijali, like for life. Like I feel like it's not just a place where you study, it's a place where there's a community. And you're welcome to come back whether or not you're continuing to take Arabic lessons. You can come attend a lecture, you can come attend a movie, you can come say hi to your instructors, you can sit in the beautiful garden. You know, I feel like it's not just about taking the lesson, but it's about the overall experience. <laughs>